Minnesota Office of the State Auditor. How to access and use the State Auditor's Form Entry System, or SAFES. SAFES is the online tool used to download and submit certain forms, reports, and documents to the Office of the State Auditor, or OSA. SAFES is found at the OSA's website at www.osa.state.mn.us in the top banner or under the Forms menu. All users need authorization before they can use SAFES. Government entity employees and Fire Relief Association trustees must contact the OSA to arrange access. Contact emails are listed on the SAFES login page and phone numbers are given at the end of this video. An annual user authorization form must be completed to grant access and permission for consultants and others who work on behalf of a government entity to access and submit forms. The SAFES user authorization form is found on the SAFES login page by clicking the SAFES authorization form link. You can fill out the form online and then print it to have the form signed, or you can print the blank form and complete it by hand. The user authorization form is good till the end of the calendar year that it is completed for, unless an earlier date is specified here. An authorized entity employee must complete and sign the top portion of the form, and the person receiving the authorization must complete and sign the bottom portion. Be sure to identify which OSA divisions you will need access for, as it may be different for different people. Email, fax, or mail the completed signed form to the appropriate division or divisions that you need SAFES access for. When you are first granted access to SAFES, you will be issued a username. Your username will usually be your first name dot last name. If you do not know or forgot your username, please contact the OSA or email safes at osa.state.mn.us. If you are logging into SAFES for the first time, you must click on the Forgot Password link to set your password. This link, of course, can be used anytime you forget your password. On the SAFES password recovery page, you'll need to enter your username or your email address that is associated with your SAFES account and click Submit. A green message will display indicating that a reset link has been emailed to the email associated with your account. Check the email that you use for SAFES. Open the email from the State Auditor. If you do not receive this email within a few minutes, you should contact our office. Click on the link to be directed to the SAFES Reset Password page. Enter a new password and repeat the new password to confirm that nothing was mistyped. This will return you to the SAFES login page and a confirmation email will be sent. Enter your username and password and then click the login button. You have now successfully logged into SAFES. The first screen you'll see is the SAFES contact page. Here you will see your contact information that is on file with our office. This information must be updated and verified annually. You will see a red message notifying you when this is required. When this update is required, you will not be able to proceed in SAFES until you verify your information by clicking the Verify button. Once you have verified your information, you will not have to again for a year. We do ask that you please keep this information updated anytime it does change. The Submit Forms and Documents page is where you can upload and submit different forms and documents to the OSA. To submit a form, step one is to select the document you wish to submit. Click Browse and select the form that you want to submit from where you have it saved. It may take a moment for the system to identify it, and often step two will be done for you because the system will identify the type of document and entity. If not, you would make selections to complete step two. Step three is needed if supporting documents must be submitted with the form. In this case, I am uploading a TIF plan collection form and need to browse to select the PDF of the TIF plan that I am submitting with the form. You will receive a confirmation email for each form or document that is submitted successfully. You may choose not to receive these emails by unchecking the box at the bottom of this page. When ready, click Submit. The Forms page is where you can go to download your forms or see their status. First, it is important to make sure you are on the proper combination of tabs for the entity or document type you are looking for and the correct year. Here I am looking for TIF forms for the 2018 reporting year. Some users may have access to multiple tabs depending on which OSA divisions they have SAFES authorization for. If you are unable to access a tab that you need, please contact us. 
Forms will be listed under the entity name and type of form. They will also have their status listed. The submission date and confirmation ID will be shown for each form that has been submitted. To download a form, click on the link and save the form to your computer. Be sure to save it in a place where you can find it when you want to come back to submit it. The CTAS page is for accessing the Small City and Town Accounting System, otherwise known as CTAS. If you need access to CTAS or have any questions regarding it, please contact our GI Division or email ctas at osa.state.mn.us. The User Maintenance page is where you can change your username, password, or email address. Press the Update button to update the information. You will receive an email confirming any changes that are made. To end your session, click Log Out. If you have any questions regarding SAFES or any OSA forms, please contact our office. Thank you.